Hello friends, welcome to October. I've missed sharing my plan with you, plan with me's with you, um, but um, do have the footage, so maybe at some point later I can share that. So for now, I am starting by inking in my October plan with me with a Pigma Sensei pen here. This month I chose asters and maple leaves. As you can see, there are a scattering of maple leaves and seeds around the edges of my planner. Where I'm living currently has gorgeous maple trees, um, at least four in the yard, and they overhang the deck um, and are falling all over the place and just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I am going through here and inking those in. As you can see, in some of these instances, I did not fully sketch out um, what I wanted to be there, especially for the maple leaves. I sketched a triangle and then went back to add in the details with the pen. And part of my reasoning for that is just I was able to get in a sketchy mood and make uh, less firm lines for the leaves, which I, I like. So for the asters, I did decide to go with purple for that, and that is with the Crayola Super Tip and an Artist Loft pen. And then for the maple leaves, I'm working with four shades of yellow through red. And then uh, for both the stem of my aster and much of my lettering, I'm using a Tombow dual brush pen in 098. I really love this color. It's a yellowy green. It reminds me of um, the ink, Alt Gold Grun, that I love writing in. Um, so yeah, and you can see I'm adding in a few cobwebs, which I thought was just a really nice touch. So I chose these pieces, these elements for October because my cure head spread, my card for October left me with the phrase reconnect with nature, self, and wisdom. And um, while asters can be associated with wisdom, I thought using the maple leaves that are such a part of nature and the living in the present for me now would be a, a really great tie-in and um, I also kind of love that it's nice timing for October and moving into Samhain um, as well. Though I do confess I really loved the pomegranates last year and I was tempted to see if I could make pomegranates work just, just to get to draw pomegranates again. Um, so I did feel like the bright red, orange, yellow situation of the maple and then the purple and green of my asters needed a bit more connection between them. So um, I, you're seeing here, I'm putting in my numbers for the month and I did them in a gradient color to try to connect it that way. So um, each week moves a shade down the gradient and then within the numbers themselves, they have a, a gradient. And then also, I, uh, you'll see soon, I decided to try a plaid pattern using the green from the asters. Oh, looks like I lost part of that footage. Uh, using the green from the asters and another tan Tombow uh, dual brush pen, which is a 992. Yeah, there's a good example there, Tasty. I'm seeing. Uh, I do the vertical and then the horizontal, trying to repeat um, the lining up of the swoop is a little off, but um, I, I do feel like it helps connect the colors some. So for this month, I am keeping my mental inventory and my gratitude list. With the mental inventory, I am you know coloring every other line just for fun. I may go back on my gratitude list and add in a few maple leaves or aster blossoms, maybe even just a cobweb to give it a little more oomph. 
Uh, again, the camera had cut off when I did the bottom there, but for my mood tracker, I have a maple leaf for each day. And then I have uh, the four other kind of sections I wanna track um, and a place to list goals because I've found that in the um, mental inventory, I sometimes end up treating it as a goals list instead of just getting all of the things out of my head. So if I could have a mental inventory and then select from it, uh, I think that will be useful going into this month. So one thing you may notice, I do not have a tarot tracker this month. Um, I have not used my tarot tracker the last three months. So I thought I would intentionally leave it off this month and kind of see what happens. Um, see if not having the tracker helps relieve some pressure and maybe make getting back into a practice easier. Um, or maybe it's just not the right time for a practice right now. Uh, and keeping with my tabs and I repeated the same four colors across the tabs just twice this time instead of a more intense gradient. Numbering out my weeklies. Uh, but the weeklies I do draw as I go uh, to see how things shift and change. So it's a very quick setup. Um, just my cover page, my monthly, my mental inventory, gratitude page, habit and mood trackers, and weeklies. Thanks for joining me. Blessed be.